Okay, uh, Tim, for any question that you will need to construct, well, you will usually need a rough diagram first. So if you don't have a rough diagram, it's actually very difficult to construct because you don't even know what you're constructing. So in this question, the, they are saying A, B, C, D, right? And that's a parallelogram. So what you can do is, right, you just draw a generic parallelogram. Make sure the alphabets are in circular order like this. So you make sure the alphabet in, is in circular order. And after you make sure that it's in circular order, you just need to roughly put the, di uh, the dimension on it. And because you know that it is a parallelogram, that means the opposite side should be also six centimeter. So even though they only give you A, B to be six, but your knowledge of par parallelogram will tell you that the opposite is also six. Then after that, they gave you a 5.4. So BC is 5.4, but your knowledge of parallelogram also tell you that the opposite is a 5.4. And then they gave you the angle of 63. Okay, so which means I draw wrongly already because 63 shouldn't be so big. I mean, 63 should be a bit smaller. Okay, so... With the idea already, I'm going to show you step by step. So uh, I will do the step one. Step one means I need the ruler, like a six centimeter. Okay, so you just take your ruler, measure that it's six centimeter. Okay, so you follow the step. Okay, then because the angle is at A, B, C, hang on. The angle is at A, B, C, your protractor should be put on B because the angle is here. So you put your protractor. 63, you got to look. Okay, I think 63, maybe somewhere like this. Lah. Okay, because you can visualize 90 degree. So 63 should be less than this. So you make sure that your protractor, the zero degree is here, then you can see that this is a 63. So after the 63, you need to use your ruler. You need your ruler, draw a straight line. Okay, your straight line got to be in such a way that it's going to be 5.4. So you got to put your ruler. Okay, I don't know why I can't put my ruler here. Okay, let me try. Huh? Something is wrong. Okay, so anyway, you use your ruler to measure. Okay, so you go and measure. Make sure that it is like 5.4. Okay. okay. I just roughly put it here. Lah. Okay, so you already got the majority. That means just now my diagram is not correct. Because this one, the my previous rough sketch, this one is too fat already. So 63 is actually on this direction. Okay, then after that, right, you if you want to be a bit more accurate, you also know that this angle here is going to be 180 minus 63. So 180 is 117 because of the parallel line. So if you want to draw the six centimeter here to be accurate, you can measure the 117. You can measure the 117. So how you measure the 117? You put your protractor. You got to put your protractor here. Then one one seven will be somewhere here. So this angle here will be one one seven. Okay. So after that, you can draw a six centimeter. Then you can draw a six centimeter. 
So mine is a rough diagram. Uh, you can, then after that, you just join. So that will be how the parallelogram comes up, come about. Okay, so that is the way that you can um, like use the property to help you. And usually later on, they ask you for BD. So you actually need to measure BD. That means you've got to use your ruler to measure. So this one is a check of accuracy. That means the, the marker will use this to check whether your construction is accurate or not. Okay, so you got to try it out physically, like if you have the thing. Otherwise, draw a rough one, make use of the property. So mine is just a very rough one. 